Greetings, this is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Remakes are in fashion these days, and mobile platforms are simply a paradise for the rebirth of old projects. So Ubisoft has not stood idly by and decided to relaunch the legendary Prince of Persia series. No, we're not talking about the well-known Sands of Time trilogy. This restart has brought back to life the original series from the 90s. Having released the classic Prince of Persia based on the first part of the game at the beginning of the year, Ubisoft decided to make some more money along with some happy fans and produced the second part of Prince of Persia named Shadow and Flame without thinking twice. From the first part, the story tells us about the adventures of the Prince of Persia, who was also a master of oriental parkour. As we learned in the Arabian Nights, the most vile and devious people on earth are not the corrupt politicians, but the officials. Following in this tradition, our main villain, the cunning vizier Jafar, is also a representative of this wonderful profession. Climbing up the career ladder, a simple Baghdad lad used to dream about his own Persia with blackjack and heavenly maidens. But as you know, servants are not supposed to have such goodies according to the staff list. That is why the vizier has suppressed his fierce anger against any young upstart like the prince. Having saved up enough anger points, treacherous Jafar cuts out the sultan, incarcerates the prince, and tries to marry the princess. So it would seem that our villain has succeeded, but he also has a case of bad luck. Who could know that the prince was at the top of his class in acrobatics? Our hero avoids countless traps and obstacles and rescues the princess and then furiously destroys the malicious vizier. This is the first part of the game. But as the epic villains usually do, Jafar was not about to die but come back in the second part in full swing during the prince's wedding. After assuming the identity of the main hero, the insidious vizier decided to get the things he wanted through trickery and declared the real prince to be an imposter. Our hero decided that there was nothing he could do here, and as any person wrongfully charged, he went on the run in order to come back at the proper time and punish that bastard once again. In the course of the story, the prince will visit a lot of interesting locations, such as the picturesque rooftops of Baghdad, mysterious island in the middle of the sea, as well as gloomy temple of bird goddesses filled with sophisticated traps. Among other things, our hero will meet the usual accoutrements of classic Persian and Greek fairy tales on his journey, such as riding a magic carpet and a real flying pegasus. As for gameplay, Shadow and Flame keeps to what began in the original. This is the same arcade game but with significantly improved graphics. Actually, the graphic component is perhaps the most significant advantage of the game. Not only the character animation but also the level design was remade and the prince himself has changed from his old Aladdin outfit into a more brutal image in the spirit of the PC series. The battle system of the game has inherited almost all of the features of the original. You have to sit out in blocks during the battles, as before, in order to make a series of blows from time to time. Praise Allah that developers took pity on seeing so many boring fights and added the possibility of making combo attacks that add at least a little action to fights with enemies. The stealth component in the gameplay also needs to be mentioned. E.g., instead of a long fight with the guard, you can sneak up on an enemy and kill him with one blow. On the whole, the game is quite good, but I need to say a little about its disadvantages to be fully unbiased. The game has two essential minuses. The first one is the game control. It is represented in two variants, gesture-based touch controls or the classic virtual keys. You can play the keys with some difficulty, but gesture controls will simply drive you crazy. Such mistakes can be forgiven for games of other genres, but not for arcade games of the Prince of Persia type. The second minus is our old friend, Name Donation. The in-game shop will offer you a wide selection of goods and services, including unique swords, recovery potions, and additional combo attacks. I wish I could bargain as you would in a real bazaar here. So if you don't want to pay, I wish you good luck with the long and fascinating collection of coins. Let's sum it up. Prince of Persia Shadow and Flame is a decent addition to a cult game series. It is a high-quality project that is recommended not only for fans of the original universe, but for all lovers of good adventure arcade games as well. That's all for today. If you like this review, then download it, put like, subscribe to the channel, and join the group. There are a lot of interesting things there. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you soon!